find the best views of Mount Fuji? Let me show you. Day 7 started with a Japanese breakfast at our hotel. We boarded the famous Thomas the Tank Engine to get to Arakura Shrine. This is the cutest train I have boarded and the journey offers some stunning views of Mount Fuji. To explore Arakura Jinja Shrine, the iconic spot when you see cherry blossoms shrine in a Mount Fuji picture. It is usually Arakura Jinja Shrine from Lake Kawaguchiko. 500 stairs up to the viewpoint, you're gifted with picturesque views of Mount Fuji. Just look at this view. Can you believe how lucky we got? The cloud slowly started to coming in and I felt bad for the other visitors because most people come here just for the Mount Fuji view. 500 stairs up was totally worth it. This five pagoda shrine especially during cherry blossom season is a must visit as it offers the best views of Mount Fuji. On our way back to the train station we saw a matcha stall and indulged in some mouth-watering matcha ice cream. Lunch was at Hotofudo which is right next to Lake Kawaguchiko station. This has become my favorite. I love the thick noodles with the miso based broth. This is a local speciality you must try. There are many public onsens you can visit. We chose to go to Urari Onsen. It is the perfect way to rejuvenate yourself. So we were given towels, locker keys to place all of our belongings. The men and women section is separated for obvious reasons. This is a naked onsen. No pictures or videos allowed inside. So here are some photos from the website. This place offers the most stunning views of Mount Fuji. There is a restaurant on site. We ordered the famous Mount Fuji curry along with some katsu. We spent a total of five to six hours at this onsen exploring all the different areas. An absolute blissful experience. Make sure to check this place out. And that wraps up our amazing day exploring Mount Fuji's hidden gems. Follow for more Japan travel adventures. Cheers.